Hi, everybody. So this is going to be a bit of a Yelp review today. Um, I uh, had a bad breakup last week, and I know I haven't been on YouTube in quite a while. Um, but because not a bad breakup, just a bad falling out with someone. And I was like, you know what? I am going to treat myself to go get my hair done. I'm going to go to the best salon around for my area. And I have tried to call all of the cheaper ones anyway to go get my hair done, but because no one would answer, I said, you know what? There's maybe some hope. Maybe I'll call, maybe I'll get lucky. So I called the salon. I'd had the woman that owns the shop do my hair five years ago. I've been bleaching my hair since I was like 20 years old. Not me, myself. At salons around here. And anyway, she did a great job. She charged about 110 bucks. It was beautiful. I came in. I had an orange ring around my hair. The bottom part was blonde. Look, $140 and I still have tons of roots. When I get closer, you'll see the rest. I don't make sure to post the pictures at the end of the video. But I just want to explain the horrible, horrible experience I had today because I am quite frustrated, quite upset. And yes, while the white light doesn't make it look as bad as it actually is, you'll see the pictures at the end of the video, which are unretouched, not touched at all, fresh light up close to my hair in the daylight. Anyway, so back to my story. Last week, I got two job interviews coming up. Um, I wanted to look great. I wanted my hair to be a nice new platinum, white, icy blonde color. You know, she did it the last time. She has a very reputable uh, place of business. She has a couple other girls working in there. She's very hard to get. A hold of. So when someone answered the phone, I said, I need to get an appointment for my hair to be um, basically made platinum yesterday. Um, she's like, I can do it tomorrow at one o'clock. And like I said, right before I walked out the door, she called me and said she couldn't do it. So I was like, pretty upset, but I was like, it's okay. And then I thought about it the rest of the day. I said, you know what? It's Saturday night. People are probably going out tomorrow. She may have a hangover. It may not be the best time for me to go. Maybe I should not go. Maybe her waiting till an hour before should tell me that it's not a good idea to go to this girl. I didn't know her, but I knew the owner of the shop. I know that to me personally, if I'm going to put my name on it, I want it to at least look good. So I want to make sure that the girls are working for me, do at least almost as good as I do, if not close to thereof, right? So I had my full faith and went anyway. I take my son with me today. I make the appointment. She's there. I ask her for platinum hair. I went in today with about five weeks worth of roots in my hair. And because I had just had my hair done by another hairdresser, which is half as much almost, almost half as much as the lady that did my hair today. Now, she underprocessed my hair and then overtoned it then sat me in the chair for four hours and continued to slap baking soda until all of the excess gray that which at this point had turned it to a cigarette ash color and purple and gray and then orange from where it was under processed somehow managed to lift it up enough to where I was be I was happy enough to walk out the door and because she doesn't charge a whole bunch of money like at the other big top salons I was like you know what I'm fine with this I'll just find somebody else next time Normally, she lifts my hair up to a very nice, icy blonde. It didn't work out this time. I asked for platinum the last time I went in, and I got a pale caramel blonde, Which and it was after I was there for six hours, after I had already had an epizootie fit, or inside, 
I don't know if it was outside, but inside. I can't find a good man. I want good hair. Okay, my hair is a big deal to me. Now, because of another incident that I had, I used to have really long hair, but now I've had to cut it off because I can't get anybody to do my hair right. Fast forward back to today. So, and of course, my stand is falling, so you have to give it a second. Okay, anyway, so I don't know this girl, but I go on to the salon webpage. Clearly my hair's not platinum. It's blonde because I went in with a little bit white anyway, because I had toned my own hair with a purple shampoo yesterday before I went in and washed it. Anyway. Like I said, if I can't find a good man, I want good hair. It's simple. If I come in with five weeks worth of roots, which is that much, that much, that much, you don't have to use that much product, do you? Probably not. So, she gets to doing my foils, leaves me under, and I told her, all of my mishaps that I've had over the years because like I said, I have been having my hair bleach since I was 20 and I am now 38 years old. And she's like, oh, I can do anything. She's a really nice girl and I'm really nice and I'm obviously not acting very like I am right now. I'm very sweet. My son and I are playing. She continues to take it off and says, now, if you don't like it, you make sure to tell me, okay? And refuse to let me see it the entire three hours that she continued to do my hair. Yet, tells me, if you don't like it, make sure to tell me. Well, how can I see it? Or, excuse me, how can I tell you if I like it if you don't even let me see it? But I'm like, you know what? You have to give people faith. You have to give them... You have to give them trust. I know how much I'm paying at this shop, so I decided to give her a little bit of trust. Didn't work so much in my favor, which you will see at the end of the video, the actual issues in my hair. Now, clearly this is not platinum either. Yes, it's blonde-ish. Is that platinum? No, boo. It's like a gray. You see that? You see that? You see that line? What the fuck that? What is that line? <gasps> skunk! Skunk, look at that. I got spots. You tell me why $140 on my part looks like that. Please do God tell me. And that's just one bad. It's under process all around there, too. But like I said, You'll see the pictures. Anyway, so she's like, I don't want you to see it. Turns me around, blow dries my hair. I've been there total about almost three hours at this point. The salon is painted a lavender purple, which you know, tones, color, hair, and lighting has a lot to do with the colors of your walls. Now, and lighting. Anyway, she curls my hair, turns it around, takes me outside to take a picture in daylight before she ever shows me my hair. Now my hair is full of volume. She had curled my hair. She, had, I had cut my hair a little bit. She fixed where I had messed it up some, which by the way, I still got some some long hairs. Now you can't, of course, see it. Clearly Saturday night took a toll on her. Cause that ain't straight. Oh, look. Look how much longer that is. Anyway, and it's over here too, but whatever, you get the point. So, I think it looks good. And as soon as I get outside and in the car, my heart drops. 
as I see the lines. It looks like a dog scar. And that this is not platinum, or this is not white, and the part that is processed is god-awful. I mean, at least, shouldn't something be the color I want it to be? I mean, it could be worse, but for $145 and a two-hour drive, it better be perfect. I have tons of roots, still. Tons. Shouldn't you at least try to pull it up if you're trying to turn platinum? Now, like I said, you can't see it all, but... I'll include the pictures. So let's fast forward. I left my cell phone at home. I get home, get my cell phone, and I tell her, you're gonna have to fix this. You need to see what this is. Initially on the first glance, it looked okay because the color is all right. Or excuse me, the curls and the things that she did with it, it was full of bounce. But upon a closer look, because obviously she had shielded me so she could push me out of the salon as fast as possible. So as long as I, ooh, if I can just pass fire long enough to get out, she won't complain. But see, no, 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 that's not me. I'm not the one known to keep my mouth shut. But anyway, I have a conversation with her. I tell her how my hair is. And she says, oh, well, makes tons of excuses. And I could read the messages off to you, but I won't. Let's just say she made excuses and never said, no, I'm sorry. I basically under-processed your hair and then left the toner on for about 35 minutes. And then again. And was scared to show me because of all of the horror stories I had already told her. So we get to the end and I say, how much do I owe you? She said $145. Now let me remind you, I live in a little southeastern town in South Carolina. Do you know that the cost of living here is like three times less than California? Do you know that minimum wage is seven? 75. That's more than most people make in a day. Just saying. Anyway, and at $145, my hair should have looked like Lady Gaga's. Especially because, like I said, my hair is in a fucking bob. Anyway, I get out. They walk to the back anyway. They didn't even fucking care. They walk to the back. They weren't paying attention, just like, get her out of here, whatever. We're hung over. It doesn't matter. She just basically is like, well, I couldn't, they're still dark because of this. And they're still, I said, no, if it's processed and it's not the right color, it has nothing to do with nothing. Why, if I'm not a hairdresser, why do I have to make smart decisions for people that have been doing this for so long, but I have the right answers and they have nothing but excuses. So today, being the melancholy that I am, because I have two job interviews coming up this week, I make a post. I take the six pictures that show my skunk tails, and I say, I am heartbroken. I have spent $145 and asked for platinum, and I get gray, orange, with tons of roots and uneven coverage, which, like I said, you'll see. I came in and my hair was lighter than it is now, but because of the overtoning, it overabsorbed it and made it darker. As you can see, it's pretty dark in there, yeah. Pretty dark. Anyway, I purple shampooed my hair yesterday and it was almost white when I came in there. I was just like, pull the rest of it up. The more work I do at home, the less you gotta do in the salon, right? I even told her, I said, you know, it's pretty blonde already. Maybe just, you know, make sure the roots are the same color as the rest of my hair. So I, just because I needed to know what was customary, I started thinking. If she messed my hair up one time, because the rule of thumb is if someone messed your 
hair up the first time, they'll most likely do it the second time. And because you know why I know that's true? Because I've had it happen three times. So anyway. I make a post after I call her out on all her excuses and her lack of telling me I apologize or I'm sorry or 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 even saying or even acknowledging the mistake. Even a simple acknowledgement, I may have said, you know what, don't even worry about it. Nah, I'll live with it. I'll wash the toner out. Nah, I'll deal with the blonde. Maybe next time it'll look better. But no, she didn't even apologize. I put on my Facebook because I want advice. I want to know, should I go back to her or not and let her pull it, do whatever she can to this gray mess? I thought about it for five minutes and said, no, let me take it down. The owner of the shop who never contacted me, not one time, all day long, after knowing my hair was messed up, has something smart to say in my inbox on Facebook. And I say to her, well, you know, considering that you come to me so defensively and this post is taken down, maybe you should take your own advice. And I blocked her. And I said, I don't want you to touch my hair. And I gave her the option. She can apologize or I can post the review. And you know what? I changed my mind. This review is getting posted. I told them I had a YouTube, and if she did a good job, I'd put her on it. Anyway, I'll show you the pictures. I know you can't really tell what it looks like right now because I have white lights on my hair, but it's clearly not platinum. And you know what? Everybody has to realize in business, the customer is always right. Number two. What goes up must come down. So while you're being cocky now, you won't always have the same business. You better learn to be humble. Till next time.